Hey friends, it's Emily here with The Mom Edit and we are up against gifting season. Suddenly the holidays are here. I have no idea how it happened. We were sick for a few weeks. I feel like they just completely crept up on me and now here we are against the wire. I'm doing last minute shopping, which Honestly, I'm kind of excited about it. I work very well under pressure, but this is very out of character for me. Anyway, if you are in the same time crunch that I am, I'm sharing five gifts today that are basically perfect for anybody. Any adult, I would say. Not adult in that way, not like adult, but any non-child. <laughs> so there's a little something for sipping, something for the home, something kind of for yourself, a practical item. But these are gifts that you could give to a host or a hostess, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a gal friend, a wife, a husband, a neighbor, a babysitter, a teacher, anybody that you want to give a gift to that feels very personal, but it's not necessarily like a piece of clothing or um, something that is so personal that you have to know them very, very well to get them something that they're gonna adore. These are just home run gifts that are super thoughtful. I can vouch for all of them, I love them and I hope you love them too. Let's start off with some sippables. So when I was pregnant, I was not drinking obviously and Chris bought me these for Christmas, Seed Lip. They are basically non-alcoholic spirits so they're distilled from all sorts of cool like herbs and zests and rinds and other things that sound really cool and they have the essence of an alcoholic spirit but without any alcohol. So this one obviously you can see we've almost used it all up. We've bought it a few times now is my favorite. It's the herbal noted one and it's Garden 108. It's kind of more of like a botanical tasting spirit, kind of would be akin to more of like a gin. And then this one is citrus and I don't know what I would say this is similar to. We use it for things like mules and margaritas and things like that, margaritas, because it does have kind of a citrusy note. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It kind of smells like when you very first open a can of Sprite or 7-Up and you just get that like of citrus before you get the sugary notes afterwards. These make a great gift. They make a couple other ones as well, but these are my two favorites. They're kind of pricey for what they are, but as such, they kind of make the perfect gift because it's something that someone might not necessarily buy themselves. Lana also really likes making little mocktails with them. Another reason why this one is so low, she prefers this one. We do a little mashup with like muddled mint and cucumbers and this and like a, a float of ginger beer. She loves that. A great gift for a host or hostess or anyone you know that maybe is avoiding alcohol this season. And, and even if you enjoy alcohol, sometimes it's just fun to have a mocktail, like on a weeknight, if you don't really feel like having alcohol, they're delicious. Also in the realm of sipping, and I've talked about this before, these are two of my favorite things to gift in terms of tea. So there's Encha Matcha, and if you are new to matcha, this is hands down the best matcha I have had. The only matcha that you need to buy, if you're buying it for somebody else who knows their matcha, they will appreciate you for buying them this. If you're buying it for somebody who is new to the matcha game, I think it's kind of fun sometimes to just add a little whisk. Even if you're doing a latte and a milk frother, which is the way that I do it, Sometimes it's nice to have the whisk if you just want to have straight up matcha with hot water, maybe a little sweetener. Um, Encha matcha is the best that you can get and it's relatively inexpensive for the quality. I think this is about $25 and it's a month supply. So I love to give this with this and then people are very personal about their mugs, but if you're intending to do matcha more traditionally. I like something that has, it's more like a bowl. This has a very sloped inside, so it's not a really rigid bottom like in a, in a mug that allows the curvature of the whisk to just skim the edges. Gifting a soft sided cup like this or a bowl with the whisk and the matcha is a really nice looking gift. If the person that you are gifting is not so into matcha, this is hands down my favorite chai. And honestly, um, you can get this at like most grocery stores. I think that our local New Leaf store, which is kind of the bougie market here carries it, but I think that our Safeway might carry it too and it's definitely available online. David Rio is the brand. I think World Market also has it. And I was first introduced to this chai in Palo Alto. There's a cafe called Koopa Cafe. They've got a few of them throughout Palo Alto and they always had on their menu this tiger spice chai. And I thought that it was this like secret family recipe that you could only go to Koopa Cafe and get tiger spice chai. It is an exceptionally creamy, rich, not overly sweet, 
not overly spiced chai that just tastes like the holidays distilled, but there's like a little bit of a nuttiness to it. Almost more kind of cinnamon roll-y, but not cloyingly sweet. So trust me on this, there's a few different varieties. I think that, that David Rio even makes a sugar-free variety and I think also might make a decaf variety, but my favorite is the tiger spice and it's literally just a powder ours is almost up, that you mix with milk or water. But I would gift this with maybe a pretty scoop, a little ceramic scoop or something like that. And again, people are very personal about mugs, so I don't love gifting mugs. But if you know the person's taste, or if it's someone like a teacher or something like that, where I feel like you kind of can't have too many mugs, maybe you could gift it with a travel mug or something, a hydro flask, something like that, that you can get a lot of use out of. So that's kind of my sippable recommendation. Moving on to gifts for the home. I cannot recommend this soap enough. So story time, Chris and I went to one of our favorite restaurants in the city, Birdsong, a couple months before we had Eleanor and I went into the bathroom and the second I walked into the bathroom, I was like, whatever scent is happening in this bathroom, I need in my home. So I washed my hands, did the whole, the deal. I left, I told Chris, when you go to the bathroom, you need to do some recon because I was in and out so fast, but I want our bathroom at home to smell like whatever is going on in there. So he took a picture of this soap. It's from Lalavo, I love Lalavo. And this is the basil and sea buckthorn version and it just smells grassy, a little bit herbal and a little bit sweet, a little bit soapy, but none of it is over the top. I'm a self-proclaimed scent snob and I don't like things that are too musky. I don't like things that smell like cologne. I don't like things that say they smell like grass, but they smell like perfume. This is truly kind of a more herbal, grassy scent, super fresh for the bathroom and because Chris was really doing his homework when he was in there, he noticed that they also had this teak wood and tobacco reed diffuser. So this is now what we have in our bathroom is the combination of the hand soap and the teak wood and tobacco diffuser. The combination together is lovely. So I would highly recommend either one as a gift or if you wanted to put them together as a gift, even if this was someone who was like moving into a new home, this would be a great housewarming gift because you could use them together in one room or separate in different rooms. But I cannot recommend these scents enough. The teak wood and tobacco, sometimes when things say tobacco, I'm afraid that they're gonna smell too like masculine and like faux leathery and this one does not. It's just, it's still, it is a little masculine and a little bit woodsy, but it's not cologne -y. I just cannot stand scents that make me feel like I'm walking by an Abercrombie if you get my drift. Anyway, together or separate, really, really beautiful gifts. And this is the type of luxe hand soap that you might not purchase yourself. It's a little on the pricier side, but it's absolutely the type of thing that just feels really indulgent and splurge worthy when you're gifting it. Also for the home, candle related gifts. Again, like I said, I am a scent snob and all of the scents from Apothe are so gorgeous. Again, not cloyingly sweet, not super perfumey. This is one of my favorite collaborations that they have with J. Crew, and actually, I'm pretty sure that this is still going on right now. And in fact, these candles tend to go on sale off and on throughout the season. So this is the first snow in Oslo, and it kind of smells like a Christmas tree-ish kind of scent, but this one's unopened because honestly, I hoarded them last year and bought like four. It smells so good. It's a little bit Christmas tree and just a tiny bit fruity. It is so good without being sweet. Oh, we burn these year round. Like I said, I bought a ton of them last year because I was afraid that it was one of those things where the scent wasn't gonna come back and because it was a collaboration with J. Crew, I wasn't sure. I don't know if they're gonna collaborate again, but happy day, they have collaborated again or they've kept the collaboration around and this is available this year. And they have four or five other scents. We also have one called Daybreak, Daylight, something that has to do with daylight and the coast and it smells so, so good. And then there's another one, I think Morning in Copenhagen. Again, it smells a little bit piney. It's just kind of wintry and warming. So good. So Apothic Scents, this is another one. This is not the J. Crew collaboration. This one's Awesome Tea. I think I got this at Nordstrom or on the Apothic site. They consider this to be one of their holiday scents, I think. And let me just show you how beautiful these are. They're super understated. It's a soy-based wax, so it burns very clean. It's free of all these nasty toxins that are in a bunch of like artificially scented things. But I love the minimalist look of it. They're super giftable. The weight and quality, it's a really like matte, beautiful vessel that it comes in. 
I can't speak highly enough about them. I have not bought a candle from this brand that I didn't like the scent of. And I know that that's really tricky to do when you're buying scented things online, but every single thing I've bought from them, I've just become quickly obsessed with. Also, if you are buying a gift for somebody who you know already really loves candles, these little wick trimmers, Chris kind of thought this was a joke when I gave this to him in his stocking one year, but we use it all the time. We even have one upstairs and one downstairs. It's got the perfect angle so that you can dip into the candle and just trim the wick. Your candles will burn and last so much longer if you keep the wick trimmed to a quarter of an inch so that that wax has a chance to burn really evenly. Also a tip if you are burning your candles, always let the wax burn all the way to the edge of the vessel. So allow yourself like an hour and a half or two hours of burn time. Don't just light a candle 15 minutes before you leave the house and then blow it out immediately because when it creates that little melted wax pool, it kind of has memory, the wax does. The next time that you light the candle, it will only burn as far as the first pool burned. So if you allow it to burn to the edge every time, you'll burn it all the way clean down through the vessel and you'll really get the most burn hours out of your vessel. And make sure that you're using an appropriately sized flame by keeping your wick nice and trimmed. So this makes a really nice gift. I'll link up this exact one that we have, but there are tons of cute wick trimmers out there. You can get them in black, brass, rose gold, silver. And again, the kind of thing that maybe someone wouldn't think to buy themselves because it seems a little extraneous, but then once you have it, it's ingenious. Believe it or not, I have one more gift related to candles. It's this sweet, sweet little lone glass cloche. Am I saying that right? You fill it with matches from the bottom and then you just shake out a match as you need it. There is a sweet little cork to keep them in a striker on the side. I'm not gonna light one now for fear of setting my primary bedroom on fire. It is very sweet. It looks really elegant out on a table or a desk. And again, the kind of thing that you might not buy yourself. Okay, the last and final gift that I'm gonna talk about today, you guys, this doesn't necessarily seem like the most exciting gift, but I am highly passionate about it. This is a blunt umbrella. This is the best umbrella I've ever used. It is so sleek. I think this is the Metro, which is considered kind of the travel size. I've used the other ones. They all have a really, really solid uh, mechanism when it comes to expanding the umbrella and closing the umbrella. And they've been tested at ridiculous wind speeds. So they are ultra high quality. The colors are super sleek. This one is a dark hunter green. Chris has one that's navy. I've bought one for my mom, my stepdad. He bought one for his mom after we bought it for him. I think I've also bought them for my in-laws. They're just the best umbrellas and they are virtually indestructible and yet they're not super heavy. They're very robust. They slide back into the sleeve without you having to roll them as tight as you possibly can. That is such a pet peeve of mine when you have to get your wet umbrella like super, super tight and wrung out to get it back in its sleeve. And then it has a zippered closure so that it still stays nice and slim. It's just a beautiful design. It's super minimalist. Again, lots of tasteful colors. Sometimes they do cool collaborations with different artists and it's so handy and useful and nice to know that you have an umbrella that is gonna work when you need it. So, invaluable gift, easy to give to just about anybody. And even if somebody already has an umbrella, unless they have a blunt umbrella, I guarantee you, they're going to appreciate receiving this as a gift. Okay, so there you have it. I think that was five-ish things that you could give just about anybody for the holidays, just about any adult, as we specified in the beginning. If you have any questions about any of them, if you have go-to gifts that you love giving at the very last minute, or that you keep in your back pocket, or if you're like me and you have a gift closet that you just stock regularly, I feel like that's something I used to be ashamed of and now I'm rather proud of it. Anyway, if you have go-to gifts, I would love to hear them. Drop them in the comments and then make sure that you come back and check us out here on YouTube and see what else we're talking about when it comes to gift giving this season and fashion and all things parenting and everything else that we've got going on here at the moment. Do the like, subscribe thing and ding the notification bell and all that stuff and we will see you next time. Bye. There's no way it's cloche. That would be ridiculous. It's gotta be cloche. C-L-O-C-H-E. I'm sure someone will tell me if I'm right or wrong. <laughs>